19th of July 2018. Okay, this cat was operated 17 days ago for the fracture of the femur. And uh, the pin connecting the fractured femur, femoral parts, the distal and the proximal, the pin went, uh, united, united the two fragments. And then uh, the pin must come out here. So that after eight weeks, we will remove the pin from this part. Now this end of the pin is is uh, jutting out from the hip area so that uh, after 8 weeks the two segments will heal the bone segments will heal and then we will just pull out the pin because it's not good to put the pin forever inside the cat Now 17 days later which is today the owner complained that there's a swelling huh? there's a big swelling here and uh, when I examined the cat, I, 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 by palpation, there was no pain. There was no pain, or very little pain. So it's unlikely to be an infected area. But uh, we have to use needle aspiration, needle aspiration to find out. Now, if, if there is pus, it will come out yellow. If it's blood, which is a hematoma, then it will come out red, which we had, this has been done earlier and the needle was put in and the cat was held like this and uh, the pass there was no pass in fact you can see there's clear clear uh, blood this is a serum so this is a hematoma now the they see a bit of swelling here so i don't think the cat will be happy if, if i do it but uh, normally if the, if the handler can hold the cat, that is the best. Not by gripping the cat, actually, if the, the less you, you, you grip it, the better. Yeah. Now, the best is to take out the throat, then the cat will be, will be distracted. Huh? Now, I will quickly, quickly swap this area. Now, the pin, I can feel the pin. The pin is here, then the end of the pin. So this part. So the best is to get the ventral part. Now there are two ways of doing. One way is to make an incision and let everything come out. But that is no good because then it might induce infection. So the other way is just to just to uh, swap and then aspirate again to see if there is any more blood. Not not the thing. The best is the own, the, the handler, don't hold too tightly, but to stroke the neck of the cat because the cat, don't hold too tightly, stroke the neck of the cat because the cat loves it. Nah. Some loves it, some don't like it. Nah. So it depends on the cat. Okay, so you just talk to the cat. Make some noise, make some noise. Make some noise quick. Mm, okay. So, because there is still a bit of the hematoma and uh, so this shows that the bleeding is still there now of course ideally there should be no more after the first time but uh, sometimes there is and uh, I will have to take another another uh, syringe hopefully there's no more after that so we'll, we'll just Try and spray as much as possible and uh, so that there will be no more swelling and infection as well. Huh? Now you see it's no more swollen here now. But maybe you will swell again tomorrow. So so uh, so in this cat we don't really need to sedate. No? Sometimes you need to Okay, so you can see the swing almost gone, no? No. Okay, I will just stop. So the other thing is, we are talking about the other thing is, uh, this, this is the surgical scar. The stitches will just remove, and as you can see, okay, just, let, just don't hold the cat, the cat will be happy, don't hold it. Okay, the surgical scar, my, my assistant has removed the stitches, but although it's 17 days, 
but the, the stitch hasn't the, this part has not closed properly but now there's nothing to worry put it down there's nothing to worry because this 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 is already healing there's a bit of a of a granulation tissue I call it so the best is my method is just to clean it clean away all the dirt don't apply anything although some vets will like to apply cream powder everything but actually the best the best way for any wound to heal is just to keep it clean there you see all the dirt there inside so if, if you apply all your powder everything it will just affect affect the healing because wound needs to be clean so that it will just bridge up the granulations usually will just close up but if you keep on putting powder you delay the healing so it is, this one is not a big wound and and the best is don't put any powder it will heal the cat will be given antibiotics and anti-inflammatory and that's it okay you can go back already so i will just show the, the x-ray let me bring back show the x-ray of the what happened uh? now you the, that was 17 days ago 17 days ago the cat jumped down from three stories you can see the leg the left femur this is a femur uh, the thigh bone fractured okay fractured several pieces one two this is the patella so so uh, this one is no choice but to but to uh, to, to do the uh, do the pinning okay do the pinning go, go backwards again just press to uh, no. Uh, okay, so one thing is it this this camera must really focus on if it's too far, it can't show now. So this will explain that the pin connects the the proximal segment. The fracture is here. So these two are a line, a line, and the pin goes in and goes up up here. You see. So this is a point where the hematoma is. Because this point, we need a small piece here so that when we, when when these two broken bones are healed, they takes about eight weeks, huh? Eight weeks, and then uh, then we will just take out this pin because it is not needed anymore, and uh, the cat will resume a normal life. Now, if this pin is left there, in some cats that there, there is no problem, but it's best to remove it. So you saw just now was the big swelling here now the big swelling is due to the blood hematoma now this is very rare i have not seen it before but these are the complications of surgery and it's not abscess it looks like very much like a venous blood but anyway you can see you see the difference here there the difference is the earlier one was uh, lighter in color the later one is darker but never mind so so once we aspirate with a needle which is a uh, the green color i call it but it's, this is a how many g the, the bigger 21. Bo uh, 21g uh. there's no point using a fine needle now as far as the just now you saw the the, the wound now there are two schools of thought uh. there are two each vet will have his own ideas. Now, the the thing is, you can see if you put plaster onto the to cover the wound, the wound will not heal because uh, there is no air. This thing will absorb some of the the, the oozing uh, of the fluid, and and this is a, a plaster which sticks to the hair, so that the cat might also feel some pain. From the head being stuck there but anyway as you can see it's difficult for the wound to heal when there's some layer of uh, of uh, exudate there now this 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 plaster i think was put all over uh, where probably the hip area right the hip area. so there, there's no 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 uh, seepage of fluid because the hip area was just a small needle and uh, so it was covered but you can see the difference so so in, in many 
many cases the wound is best left open don't cover up you cover up sometimes the, the, the bacteria just below here will just multiply and spread into the the the, the breakdown the stitch breakdown the area and uh, you get more problems delayed healing yeah? because you can't check every day once you cover you cannot check every day whereas, whereas if you open up like what I, what I show you just now every day you check and all you have to do is just use either chlorhexidine plus a swab plus a swab here to just clean up and then rinse off with plain water that is the best and some people like iodine uh, and, and you know powder uh, everything uh, they want to put in cream uh, centralized cream but actually the the cat will be happier if we don't put so many things in because it's uh, sometimes it's irritating uh, to the wound and so this is uh, the whole educational video for younger vets that uh, the best wound is not to cover it up and the second point is uh, you clean up properly to, although there's a stitch breakdown but it's not a serious breakdown you will granulate over about 10 days you will keep it clean every day you just clean it and it will heal very nicely and beautifully but you keep on covering up with plaster after a few days you'll find that it might be infected as well and uh, of course the owner won't be happy because he goes home you see he goes home and then when you peel off the plaster it's quite painful because the hairs the hairs are stuck there so these are the two points now the needle aspiration is the way to to to, to differentiate whether it's an abscess which has passed hematoma which has no pass just pure blood and cyst cyst will be yellow yellowish fluid but in this case after surgery, there are two possibilities. One is, of course, uh, hematoma, and, but because it's 17 days later, so it could be an infected hematoma, which is actually a, an abscess. So these are the two differential diagnoses. Now, uh, as far as the cat is concerned, the best is don't, don't grip the cat so tightly because this is not like dogs. The less you grip, and then you tickle the neck, the cat really loves it and and you just put the needle in or you distract the cat by actually making some noise some, then the cat got distracted you put the needle in and you just spread out the either pass or the flip without having to incise of course uh, if it's abscess you have to cut about one centimeter don't cut a small one you cut a small one the pass comes back again now for the disadvantage of needle aspiration is when you suck out the, the blood, there's some on there, but uh, it's not obvious. So by the time, this is the, about half an hour later, you can see that uh, actually the, 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 these are the, the one you suck out is probably the serum. Then this one is probably the clot, the clotted blood, the, un the blood that cannot clot. Actually, actually it, there's a clot there, you can see that the clot. So, so, so my advice is, Every, every time you do, do some uh, procedure, check on the patient uh, one hour later, two hours later. Especially when you do uh, uh, abscess drainage, incision and drainage. For example, the hamster which I, I had in the video, the neck, neck muscle abscess. Now if you make a very small hole on the neck, actually the pus comes from inside the muscle. So, so you, 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 you say that or it may recur again. Of course, it will come back again because you, you didn't make a big incision and you didn't uh, express it for a few days. Now the, the hamster, serial hamster is in the owner's house. Still has pus coming out. Why? Because the owner doesn't know how to do it. He didn't want, want it to be hospitalized for, for a few more days due to economic uh, considerations. So, but it's much better. I saw the, the image he sent to me. It's a bit of past still, huh? and that's already about how long already? Maybe seven, ten days, huh? Seven, ten days. So, so that's the situation. When when the past is deep in, the best is that's why you see I don't I don't tape it. You, you don't you don't plaster it. So that's the same principle as you have done for this cat. 
you don't plaster up and cover up, although you will keep it clean. The E. coli will prevent the cat from leaking. Then you give anti-inflammatory painkillers and uh, antibiotics. So I would expect the swelling not to recur again, but you never know. It may come back again, another big swelling, so you have to do again. But uh, we'll wait till tomorrow. Today's what time? See the time? 6.33 p.m. Okay, time to go. Okay.